Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I got something pretty exciting for you. Very exciting for some of you. So if you haven't heard already, I will be coming out with a product research only program for you guys to go through. It is going to be free. It's going to be very extensive. I had planned for a launch um, actually like a week ago. I thought it would be done. And then I just started thinking, I was planning, and I just filmed some of it, and it was, I just kept coming up with amazing ideas that should be in there. So it's longer than the other course, um, somehow. All on product research. So I thought there would be no better way <laughs> to, um, you know, let you guys know that it's coming next week. It'll be out next week. I don't have a hard date yet. Monday would be amazing. Friday would be worst case scenario. Enjoy this product research method that I used during the course and was explaining to you guys. I'm gonna give you that video today. You have the rest of the course and everything else out next week. All you guys are looking forward to it. A little bit of leaked info here. Um, I actually was just doing some more recording today. This is one of the things I did and it was just so exciting to me. It was fun. I hadn't done this method in a while, but when I was brainstorming stuff that I wanted to give to you guys, this was in there. Um, so if you're not aware, basically the way that I've am framing this in my head for you guys is I'm trying to give you everything I have ever done or ever thought about as far as product research. So not everything that I necessarily go over and this is like stuff that I do every day and I tell you the things that I do every day so it's it's kind of tiered wherein that like I'm like this is most important this is the best method um, but for you guys that learn a little differently or a little bit bored with that come over here and there's some more exciting stuff to get into so hopefully you guys enjoy the following clip it's about 10 minutes long from the course that will be coming out next week if you're excited comment savage below hopefully you enjoy later All right, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome into another lesson of the product research course. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. This is probably the weirdest product research method I'm going to show you. It is essentially the idea that there are trends that happen in other countries that don't reach other areas of the world and you could be ahead of a trend, spot it, position yourself so that when it starts here, start selling very well doesn't have to just be that, but here we have Amazon Germany. You could just type in Amazon, say a place. So maybe you want Japan, Amazon Japan. You could go into, so you'd actually do shop in English in Amazon Japan. So you could go into Amazon Japan here. Now this is the Japanese Amazon. It doesn't look quite like ours. Um, but check this out. So we could actually go into, their categories are gonna look a little different. Um, it's kind of funny, they actually have, you know, some weird categories. We'll leave it at that. Um, so let's go into, I think we're under books right now. So it's kind of hard <laughs> there is a way to translate the page. Generally, it'll like pop up and ask. Shop in English. So we don't want books, though. I think these are all just book categories. Oh, no. Okay. Crafts, hobbies, and home. So let's go into there. So it does take a little longer. No, see, I think we are in books. This one is confusing. Generally, like, it'll give you the option. Um, let's see. If we go back and just click on, like, this, translate this page. Okay, this isn't too bad. Yeah, there we go. So now we could actually go into, um, let's say home and kitchen. Maybe they have some different, and then we'll, what we'll do is our little tool where we type in the negative, the gibberish, and then you go. Right. So, it didn't translate any of this. That's technically okay, because you don't really need to know any of that. You could essentially just, um, 
click on any of it because that's really all we'd be doing. So that's kind of interesting. If I'm not talking, it's just because this method requires a little bit of focus. Um, I'm trying to figure out what that's used for and what it might be called. Ooh, okay. So like a neck fan. Yeah, so now you would go to your Amazon. I feel like a pro navigating the English Amazon now. And you would search like a neck fan. Aha, see, we didn't even know this existed, and the reviews look low. This might be good. I swear to God, I did not plan this. Right. So this is just doing ridiculously well for no apparent reason. <sighs> Maybe I should just delete this video and keep this idea for myself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, this is a very good example. We might as well just leave this off here um, 67 reviews doing 22,000 7 reviews doing 10 13 doing 7 200 doing 60 100 doing 70 120 doing 85 14 doing 11 I don't I don't know what more what what more do you need from me Yep. So, applying what we know, it's tempting to order this and list it, isn't it? Now, how many are there? Because there, there's a chance that we could just order it and list it if this hasn't caught on to the fact, to the point where there's only a page of them. So we would check page two and see the density of the listings. So now they're still all over page two. So I wouldn't necessarily want to just sell this product on its own, right? Because why would they buy ours? They, they could just buy the ones that are on page one. So I think we'd have a little bit of a hard time getting ranked for this. And they're already super cheap. So if something looks too good to be true, it probably is. This has a lot of listings for it. I think that, that doesn't mean much. I think there's still potential. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I just don't know if it's ready yet. So yeah, that's a neck fan. Does Jungle Scout work? No, it does not. <laughs> um, okay, there's one idea. I mean, if you can innovate that, if you're one of the first people watching the course, pfft, just find a different design, really. I mean, I'm thinking quality over quantity here. Don't just go for the color. Maybe you do a two pack or something. I didn't see any two packs actually, right? There was no two packs. That could be a simple differentiation. So I would pick the one that's selling best and do a two pack. If you wanted to get real lazy, you could test that. I do like this. It's it's a uh, definitely. There's a lot of opportunity. There's plenty of revenue on the first page. Now I'm guessing it's going to be a bit seasonal. Even on page two, look at these numbers. It's ridiculous. Absolutely crazy. Right? What is that? Like, what are those? That's insane. Uh, now we would want to check patents. We'd want to check trends for sure. Like, if this is going to die off next month, we don't want to sell this. So, neck fan past 12 months. Let's go past five years. So, this is a trend. By the way, this is what a trend looks like. So, really high in Singapore, yeah. Um, so you can see Jap Japan's highlighted over there. That's where we were just looking um, really high in Australia. So, neck fan Amazon has a breakout. So yeah, look at that. This is a trend. So. Literally, we were just talking about finding trends, catching them before they come here. This is a breakout. Um, let's go back to the other one because that's what neck for Amazon doesn't really make sense. Neck fan, very little searches for five years. And then starting June of this year, we had a breakout and there's never been more interest in it. 
Um, it's a little dip, but there's always going to be a correction. So like nothing will just continue to go up. It might go up to here, go up, you know, get resistance right here and then fall back down. And then it might go up past that, you know, so you could potentially get this. And now right here, it broke the previous high. I'm reading this like it's a freaking stock. Um, but yeah, you don't need to get that scientific about it. This is trending upward. It might die off soon. Could take advantage of it while it's here. Um, who knows? I might be selling this by the time the course comes out. So you got some fierce competition. <laughs> no, but I, I like this. I mean, that was a good, um, good first try. So going over recapping, you literally just go find a another country's Amazon and you're just looking for products on there because don't you get a little bit sick of uh, looking at the same products all the time? This tends to solve that. You would think, you know, it's like, oh, it's just a different country, but different countries have a vast, vastly different cultures and different products. So go check it out. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. This is really fun. I'm going to probably mess around some more with this. I used to do this um, last year. I haven't done it a lot this year. I kind of forgot about it. And I was thinking about things that I could teach you guys that I know. And this was one of the methods that came into my mind. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I guess I'll see you in the next lesson. Later, guys.